hi it's Naomi back with another vlog for you this time I'm going to be talking about The Witch Elm by Tana French so this is a standalone novel it is not one of her Dublin Murder Squad series um, I haven't tried any of those yet um, but they're incredibly well respected and regarded within the genre um, speaking of genres uh, this book kind of defies genre it is it would be very easy to say oh because the author has written uh, crime novels before it's a crime novel but I think it has a lot more uh, wider appeal than that. And the book itself centres around a chap named Toby. Uh, Toby's a nice guy with a nice life. He's got a nice car, a nice job, a nice girlfriend. Everything seems to fall in place for him. And that's what some of the other characters mention. They do mention the level of privilege he's been afforded in his life. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it's made very clear from day one that Toby is, or was, a lucky man. And luck is something that really runs through the book. Um, it's quite a theme the author uses quite a lot. You know, what, who is lucky, what is luck, and what happens when our luck runs out. Um, so Toby is attacked, which leaves his life massively changed. Um, his once easy life now is a day-to-day -day struggle, both physically and mentally. Um, so he really suffer he's really suffering from the trauma of this attack. When a body is found, Toby takes on this role of um, amateur detective and it takes him to some really dark places. He almost exposes himself as an unreliable narrator because he knows he can't trust what he does or doesn't remember um, because of the nature of his injuries from the attack, um, let alone trusting what other people are telling him. So it must be an incredibly scary and fright frightening place to be in mentally. Um, and you see this reflected in his relationship with his family. So um, they previously seemed like quite a close-knit, large family, um, but Toby starts pushing himself away um, because I think he feels like they're pitying him um, and their attitude, attitude towards him has changed since he's had this accident. He's really struggling with processing the first bit of very bad luck he's had in his life. And yeah, and it leaves him in this very angry, sort of alienated space. The cast of characters surrounding Toby are all fantastic. Um, they are all great. They have a specific role. Um, no one is floating around without any agency in this novel. They're believable and uh, the dialogue between them absolutely sings. It's such a strong uh, point of this novel. The dialogue is so well written. It reads a little like a Donna Tartt novel sometimes, um, you know, with the mundane activities of everyday life coupled along with this secret bubbling away underneath, this this looming darkness that always feels like part of a Donna Tartt novel. It's kind of present here as well. That's why I draw that comparison. Um, the style and pacing of this novel make it such a pleasure to read. Even though it is a more slow burn, you're so engrossed by the writing that it just flies by. Um, I mean, at a glance, it's quite a long novel for the amount of action that takes place. However, I don't think there's ever a point where it drags. It's just so well done. I really thoroughly did enjoy it. I also read a review by Stephen King of this book after I'd finished it, and he brings up a point which I really do agree with. Um, he thinks that the blurb on the back of the book is basically too much information about the book. And yes, I'm inclined to agree. Uh, so that's why I've kept it a little bit vague today because I feel like anyone who goes on to the book will, to read the book will thank me for that a little bit. Um, it's a fantastic read. It, it's going to appeal to so many people. It's got elements for so many different people's taste. Um, I've already started recommending it to customers and I think it's going to stick with me throughout the year, this one. It's a book I think will probably end up on a lot of end of year roundup uh, book lists as well. Um, so do give it a try and let us know what you think. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me today. And if you want to hear more from me, more from the other vloggers or more from Waterstones in general, then please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye bye.